Hi, welcome back to Crafty Come Lately. I've went ahead and finished the project. It's a cute little book made out of chipboard cover um, and using uh, Ginger's My Sister Scrappers method um, and it includes stack the deck binding. And so I'll just go ahead and show you the final project. I've embellished it very simply on the cover with a little lace trim here, a cute little sticker flower that I've cut myself, two layer process with some Prima petals, loose petals from Tuesday morning, and a Daiso little rose in the inside. This is a cute little sticker from the dollar store, a cute little uh, key from the clearance section at Joann's, a Daiso little tag or whatever you call it, little hook, and uh, I think it's a dollar store lace, I think so, yeah, or sorry, uh, ribbon. So that's it. The papers are all from different collections, and um, I've tried to do a kind of rosy, green, pinkish looking thing. That's it. So that's the theme. <laughs> and uh, again, another rose, the same idea, little Daiso petal inside, Prima loose papers here, dollar store flower just taken apart. And this is a Daiso little washi-like tape, but it's fabric tape. And these are the addition pages that uh, Ginger adds. My scrappy, uh, my sister scrapper, she adds a little page insert to all of her lunch sacks pages. She does this little corner uh, punches, which I did for the first time. And um, so I have a little tuck right here to put something into. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there, but stick some tag or some envelope perhaps and um, made very like just use some flowers that I've made very simple um, I've just used very simple the two page little booklet that she decides to do and this one just an earring from Claire's <laughs> that was like maybe 12 of them for a dollar way back when and a couple of little print free printables could be from ephemera vintage garden Debbie so I think so and then from stationary paper went ahead and made a little tag uh, loose roses from the Mexican store actually so those are real roses and a couple of stickers from I don't know where made some little flowers there and these are the dollar store little uh, things they're not yeah I think they have sticker back to them and more flowers that I've just punched and cut layer different flowers on top cute little journal uh, little notebook this is from a Tuesday morning pack of 25 stationery already has the lines on it both sides did so I just went ahead and made a notebook out of it and stamped notes um, even though it got a little strip of black there but looks okay for my little punch board and I made my own little envelope right there and another tag right here just basic yellow and that was an old scrapbook paper with airplanes on it. Cute little ruler here. Just a stamp from stationary paper that I cut out around. Made the lines for the journal there. A little corner half circle for just as a stopper. And next, another simple flower. Cute little Daiso sticker right here for embellishment. Um, just the enamel dots, the do-it-yourself enamel dots, uh, free printables that I went ahead and cut and embellished, uh, printed, and then made a, out of cardboard paper, thick, or not cardboard, actual cardboard. Um, I made a stamp just with cute little stickles, but it's not stickles, it's glue glitter thing that I have. That's the Daiso Rose enamel dot that I made. Um, and this is a Daiso doily that I went ahead and made an envelope out of. This one is a just a simple stationery in the back. This one is a cute little stamp from, I think, uh, Inkadoodle Do, whatever they're called. This one is a Made Yourself flower that I made out of actually a stencil. And I cut it out and I cut each petal out and taped it to a circle. Uh, some stamps, I mean, uh, some punch outs of butterflies. And this one came from a big stencil of 
that came from a Tuesday morning pack that I cut out. That particular butterfly, and it has so many colors on it because I stenciled, uh, sprayed through the stencil. So there, there's the layers of all the colors together. Enamel dot that I made. Cute little wax paper envelope that I made with a little doily or part of a doily. Uh, some feathers, white feathers, it's hard to see. And Daiso little washi tape. A little poppy flower that I made back in the day like a few months ago, back in the day. Library card pocket that I made, but I didn't want to cover this beautiful paper, so I went ahead and used the same paper. And a cute little tag that I made that could be a library marker, a book marker, I mean. And a fence that I made, and I'm going to do a separate video on how to make it super simple, because instead of buying chipboard or wood embellishments, some things are easy to make. I mean, they're straight lines. I rounded the uh, the edges of the top, but you could leave it square if you wanted to and just try a different kind of uh, darkening so uh, That's so that's about it um, I thank you so much for watching. I left the cover in the back pretty simple and So I thank you so much for watching. I put a little key there. I can't remember if I already talked about it or not so uh, appreciate you watching hope you subscribe um, to my channel if you haven't already. If you like what you see, please like this video uh, and hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much.